Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, this is not something I've done before and I didn't think it would be a video I'd make. But I've actually found I quite like watching them and I've obviously had a reasonably large birthday. So I thought we'd do a what I got for my 30th birthday video because some of you might find it interesting if you're buying for a 30 year old female of my interest she might find it helpful and if nothing else my mum will probably like it um i find it kind of sad that these videos always have to come with a bit of a disclaimer obviously all of this was gifted to me because it's birthday presents uh, this is not a brag i'm just very grateful and wanted to share with you all. Let's get into it, shall we? As you can tell, I have turned 30 and my parents got me the big, shiny 30 badge. So along with that, as you will have seen in my birthday vlog, which came out a couple of weeks ago, which I'll link up in the corner, which I never know which side it is, but it's up there if you want to see it, you'll know that we are going to go to Disneyland Paris. Yeah. So Pete and my parents and my brother are kindly gifting me a trip to Disneyland Paris at some point. Um, obviously with the current situation it's hard to know when that's going to be but it will happen and there will be Disney vlogs for you and I am so excited about it all. I haven't been to Disneyland Paris since I was about 12 or 13. Um, I think it was relatively new opening, uh, being opened. It may have been called Euro Disney last time I went but I can't remember. So yes, super excited about that one and just very happy about it. Um, I'm going to keep these on now for the rest of the video because I can. I don't really have an order for any of the other stuff so as I pick things up I will try and group things but shall we stick yeah we'll stick with my what my mum and dad got me so my mum cross stitches so I got a long distance hug which is very sweet of her uh, obviously the badge, I've got the banner, um, which as you will have seen is going to go up in the office for um, the, the Zoom course that I've got. Um, where, where is it? Where's the other thing? And then they got me this really cool jumper from Magical Day Apparel. Um, so it's a uh, where I belong and then on the sleeve it has, if we can get this open properly, oh, eh. the Hogwarts castle. Disclaimer, when I opened it I just saw a castle and didn't know Magical Apparel did anything other than Disney clothes. So I thought it was that but obviously when you see the wand you can tell it's Harry Potter and it looks so super comfy and I can't wait to wear that one. Jeff, don't do that please. Sticking with the Magical Day Apparel, you will have seen that Pete got me a mystery box, which I have no idea what's in it. I have left it until this video to open it so that we can do it on camera together. So Pete's very nervous about what's in here. Uh, he says it's a t-shirt box and let's see what we've got. This is my first unboxing I think. Oh no, I did do a style face video, so let's see what we've got. Ooh. So we have a Foolish Mortals t-shirt, which will be great for Halloween. I love that one. We have one of their pocket squares. I think this is going to be popcorn. Um, Mickey popcorn by the looks of it. 
I am not a huge popcorn eater um, and I've just seen what the next one is so this is my least favourite one but it's still very cool and then we've got the castle that's awesome definitely my favourite one and maybe coming on my trip so that's cool knowing what we've got in the box um, I obviously have no idea had no idea what was in there nor did Pete, he didn't pick them so that's very exciting like that, thanks Pete from my aunties and uncles I got some Amazon gift vouchers which oh, we all know is going to be spent on books don't we I have a bit of a problem when it comes to books which means that Pete's auntie feeds my habit so she got me four books which I can't wait to read so we've got The Flip Side by James Bailey we have Prep by Curtis Sittenfeld we have Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick, which I think is essays and stuff. And then Where Did You Go, Bernadette? by Maria Semple. I actually read the first chapter of this in The Doctors once and really enjoyed the first chapter and was very tempted to take it. But as I'm not a thief, I didn't. So super happy and super oh that one's the wrong way around let's try that again super happy and super excited about giving these a go and if you want to know what i thought of them little plug for my channel here um i will i do a book review every month so when i've read these i'll talk about them in there so if you're interested make sure to hit that subscribe button for more stuff that feels a bit bit wrong I don't I don't do that kind of thing normally along the same vein of books I got a one line a day journal I think it's so beautiful I've got a clip that I took just before so that you can see this in better detail but I love the the gold paper and print and then obviously as you write this covers um, five years so you write a little bit each day and then each page as you can see in the clip uh, you write the year and then your couple of sentences and I think this will be really helpful in helping me sleep a little bit actually because certainly at the moment I'm finding it hard to switch my brain off and I think this will give me a good way of getting some of the feelings out on paper and also a good way of like a gratitude diary but not a gratitude diary if that makes sense so yeah that's really nice that came from Pete's parents who along with um, a couple of other people from Pete's family have given me some money to buy the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer so I've ordered that that should be on its way and I can't wait to try all the yummy yummy hot chocolates because I'm not a hot drink person really I do love a hot chocolate and I have wanted a hot chocolate more and more often than uh, more recently so I'm looking forward to that because I don't find home hot chocolates very nice they're never as good as the ones that you buy in the coffee shops so this is supposed to make that kind of thing so very excited about that I received some puzzle post which Again, if you've seen the birthday vlog, you'll see that we, we have done this and I know the outcome, but as I'm filming it, I haven't completed it, but it sounds really cool and I think it's going to be a lot of fun and a great idea. But currently I don't know who it's from, although I have a suspicion it's Pete's brother. I need my laptop for this, which I've got to be careful with because the ring light is attached to it. Should have prepared this beforehand awful awful person really aren't I but along with the Disney trip my brother I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all has ooh, the ring light shining in it to it that way has found the number one for every year of my life from my birthday 
and has sent them to me. And actually, there are some quite alright songs in here, if you're like me and like cheesy music. So we've got a bit of Cotton Eye Joe from 95, a bit of Limp Biscuit Rolling from 2000. Haven't heard the song for ages, but put Pretty Fly for a White Guy, and I enjoyed that one a lot when we listened through this. And then as you get to more modern day songs, there's things like Uptown Funk, God's Plan by Drake. So yeah, lots of, lots of fun stuff, and also lots of not so fun stuff, like David Snedden. Anybody remember him from Fame Academy? So yeah, I liked that a lot. I'm a big music fan, a music listener. So to know what was number one for the 30 years of my life was, was a lot of fun. Although my brother did have a bit of problem getting it to me until I taught him about the joys of way transfer. So, oh, I nearly forgot. I also received some flowers from my godparents, which again I've taken some clips of, but you are supposed to have them as a bunch, but I lack a vase in this house. We do have one, but it's currently being stored for us at Pete's parents' house because we don't have a lot of space. So I have had to split this up into the, the little vase that we do have that I keep like daffodils in occasionally and a mug. But yeah, as you can see, we've got these really, really beautiful roses that are pink and then there's the sort of whiter ones with the pink rim. And then my absolute favourite are the tulips. They're like flames um, and they're really cool. But as you can see, stored in a mug, which is not quite so good. So there you have it. Just a quick run through of the things that I got for my 30th birthday. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please give it a thumbs up. If anybody has any tips on Disneyland Paris or what flavours I should get for my Velvetizer or anything like that, please drop it in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!